Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. And today I want to talk about almost science fiction, a sophisticated attack uh, that affects physical computer memory called Rowhammer. Now this attack was posted to Google's Project Zero by other Google researchers, and it's based on research from many other organizations as well. Here it is in a nutshell. Basically, researchers found that DRAM memory, or dynamic random access memory, suffers from an issue. Now the, the chips are so small and the transistors are so close that if you actually repeatedly access the memory location on a particular uh, a transistor or you hammer that particular transistor, there's a chance that the electromagnetic charge associated with that can leak over to another transistor and can actually flip a bit, which means it will change a one to a zero in a different part of memory, causing a classic memory corruption. Now this new Google research also showed how bad guys might take advantage of that. Basically, by strategically doing this hammering attack at a very particular part of memory, uh, these researchers might have a chance of flipping a bit in the page table entries. And without going into all the detail, basically the page table is what controls the addressing for all your physical memory. So if a bad guy can control write access to the page table, there's a chance he can do read-write access to your entire higher memory, which essentially means he can run whatever he wants and have control of your computer. So this is a pretty fascinating attack. It's, it's rare that actual physics of electricity uh, result in these sorts of computer attacks. Now while this is really a fascinating attack, you really don't have to worry about it in the practical world today. I don't think cyber criminals are going to pull this into their toolbox anytime soon. Uh, while the researchers were able to actually create a proof of concept attack on some Linux equipment, they found that many of the memory chips they tried did not succumb to the attack. There's even some chips that can actually correct errors. So if a one gets flipped to a zero or vice versa, it will fix it. Nonetheless, it really is a very, very interesting attack, and it really shows you how deep uh, secure design can go. It's all the way down to the design of the electrical equipment you use in your computing systems. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.